Yes, now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to watch the 10 terrible CGI movie moments, such as the Sidemen movie trailer featuring the Sidemen. That was uh, really good. That was Remember top quality no, you know CGI. They had, seen, they, had, they, they had seen the bloopers of it, the broccoli fields with you. Oh, the broccoli fields. Well, me, and, me, and, me, 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 the broccoli fields. <laughs> oh, I don't remember this. Uh, all that I remember is CGI. Ethan being a uh, gladiator. And In the Coliseum. Like, yeah, and you were like, five times the size of everyone else on the floor. He was like oh 30 foot tall inside the Coliseum. <laughs> it's so funny. You're the same so size funny. as the walls, bro. I don't even find the hardest deal, probably not. Ten honkers here. Uh, let's have a look. Right. It's gonna be weird if I've it seen the film. It must be devastating as a yeah. filmmaker to pump your heart and soul into a project only for it to be weighed down by a few, or more than a few in some cases, god awful CGI <laughs> moments. But it must be said that designing computer generated imagery is no mean feat. It can take months or even years for visual Jabba. effects teams to craft high quality Where's CGI Sorry, sequences that. for a feature. Oh, that's that bad. That was really brilliant. bad. However, the likes of Avatar and Avengers Infinity War and Endgame game have now shown us what is truly possible when it comes to the world of yeah. CGI but you deep it, it's actually so not. I don't want to hear any, any good so talk about Avatar. Obvious when a particular why? effect doesn't <laughs> stick to landing. I'm Gareth from <laughs> BlockCulture.com <laughs> and here are 10 terrible CGI movie moments you cannot unsee. Pokemon Number yeah. 10, Baywatch. Worst fire ever. Okay. 2017's Baywatch got you into the cinema for one of two reasons. KSI you either wanted song. to stare at the pretty cast yeah. for two hours, or <laughs> you heard down. that the film was rated R and wanted to see what all the fuss was about. What you definitely <laughs> what didn't expect to see was out of this world CGI effects, which would have made Steven Spielberg proud. And it's a good thing too, because we definitely Jeez. did not get that in this Dwayne The Rock Johnson vehicle. The infamous moment, which stands out as one of the worst uses of CGI in modern movie <laughs> history, happens during Mitch Buchanan and the gang's daring attempt to rescue some civilians from a burning boat in the middle of the oh, sea. Oh, as they get go. close to the floating blaze, it becomes clear that these flames are one 100% fake. Painfully fake. <laughs> I mean, the fire looks like it was designed on Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> the entire sequence doesn't last much oh, longer. That is bad for you, know. Oh, oh, fans are free to get I ain't seen, seen that film. The view of the cast soon it. after. Number nine, Gods of Egypt, they Minotaur Attack. I don't think that was the worst thing, obviously. Yeah, 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 it was was Gods of Egypt. It was clear to most that this film wasn't going to be this boasting out of this world visual effects. However, the promise of Gerard Butler hamming it up as an Egyptian god would surely be enough to distract us from the outdated CGI on show, right? Wrong. So, so wrong. One particular instance <laughs> of dreadful CGI came during a scene which involved a bunch of minotaurs ambushing Brenton Thwaites' Beck, only for Nikolai Costa Wildau's Horus to pop up and save the day at the last moment. Unfortunately, the nasty minotaurs on show here oh, looked like they'd oh. been ripped straight out of an old stop-motion oh, no. King Kong movie. For a feature which had a 140 40 million dollar budget to play what? with. It's quite embarrassing that the end result turned out to be near unwatchable at times due to some oh. of the laziest CGI in recent history. <laughs> Number eight, Hellboy. Oh, Hellboy! Hellboy. Shane moment. When Hellboy finally returned to our screens in 2019, oh, fans boy. wandered into the film with a spring in their step, as the first few glimpses of the reboot looked promising. Sadly, what we got in the end was a half-assed attempt to bring Hellboy's world to life, with the majority <laughs> of the CGI it. on show being being borderline offensive. The disjointed Hellboy. scene where David Harbour's Hellboy fights off some CGI giants definitely sticks out as one of the worst visual offenses in the film. <laughs> oh, However, that oh, scene looks like a visual guy. masterpiece compared to that Ian McShane moment at the end of the movie. McShane's Trevor Broom had just been killed by Mila Jovovich's Blood Queen. So mm. a pissed off Hellboy decides to finally yank out Excalibur and looks set to bring about the apocalypse, as you do. Then in a last gasp attempt to appeal to his human inside, Alice uses her powers to channel Broom's spirit, who then tells right. the demonic being that he is better yeah, than the fuck is that? Unfortunately, right. the feature's relatively small $50 million budget meant that the team weren't able to juggle a deeply realistic Anung Unrama and convincing second coming of Broom at the same time. <laughs> so he's got good. this weird head okay. on top of an animated <laughs> okay, that one. Bro, I don't know about that. Young Will Smith. When you 
entire marketing campaign focuses on the fact that a well-known acting superstar would be fighting a younger version of themselves in your movie, you have to stick the landing on that all-important de-aging job. Unfortunately, uh, Gemini Man wasn't chase. able to do just that with their clone version of Will Smith in the 2019 action thriller. Yeah, there were like moments when the face. effect worked to treat, and audiences were allowed to fully invest in the idea of Smith's character, Henry Brogan, genuinely being faced with the prospect of fighting off a quicker, stronger version of himself. However, at too many points in the story, we were left wincing at just how jarring the finished CGI was in this paint-by-numbers action flick. Yet by far the clunkiest piece of CGI in the big-budget flop was the final scene involving Brogan's clone being oh. visited by yeah, the original Brogan and Brogan. Here, the clone looks like <laughs> he's <laughs> 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 cut scene. Bro. 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 The clone would seem focused <laughs> on delivering <laughs> next-level <laughs> visual <laughs> effects <laughs> 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 ends on a de-aging duff note. Number six. Cats, this pretty much awful, all of yeah. it. All of the talk coming into Tom Hooper's this. cinematic I mean, take on Andrew Boyd Webber's cast centered yeah. around the director's use of groundbreaking visual effects to bring his titular felines to life. Yet, when the first trailer hit the internet terrible. for this visual this furball, honking. fans all around the world were left feeling slightly disturbed or even concerned like about, about what had been conjured up by the film's visual effects. Who animated this whole thing? such as Serene McKellen and Dame Judi Dench had been morphed into cartrocities before our very eyes. But we were still a few months salmon. away from the film's release date. I'm telling they you, could no good can come from the cats. Visuals like, I don't like them Instead, little they <laughs> rushed the feature into cinemas and were forced to re-release another version of the film at a later nah, date. To cover up some CGI blunders, oh. such as Dench's wedding ring being very much visible. Sadly, <laughs> even the re-release couldn't mask the odd decision to put noses on inconsistently sized, digitally altered cat-slash-human hybrids. <laughs> and fuck? so much of the film just ended up feeling like one big acid trip. It's Number five. Five, yeah, Terminator 3, weird. Rise of the Machines, Fake Gravestones. Coming into the third installment of the Terminator franchise, fans were pretty much convinced that the series could do no wrong. The original James Cameron flick boasted some of the best practical effects of its time, and Judgment Day also held its own in terms of its impressive visuals. Rise of the Machines did its best to keep pace with its predecessors in 2003, but there were a few moments where the effects stuck out like a sore mechanical thumb, the worst of which goes down in a cemetery when Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator is attempting to flee the scene with John Connor in a coffin. After safely shoving said coffin into the back seat of a hearse, the pair pick up Kate Brewster just as she's about to be blown to bits by the evil TX. But not before Arnie blasts the nasty robot with a rocket launcher straight into one of the worst <laughs> digitally rendered objects in cinema history. <laughs> An ill fitted <laughs> <laughs> so managed to get away from the scene. However, the fans in the say, cinema bro. did not get away from the fact that they just witnessed some absolutely rotten CGI in a near $200 million blockbuster. Number Huck's four, sake. Venom, oh. Final Battle. Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock morphing into the hulking symbiote was a visual treat at times in 2018's Venom, and the scene where he completely massacred a SWAT team was a particular highlight of the Spider-Verse spin-off. However, all that good work was very nearly overshadowed by a few cringeworthy CGI moments in the climactic final battle between Venom and Riot and Eddie Brock and Carlton Drake. As the enemies tear chunks out of each other, both symbiotes half split away from their hosts. In this moment, Venom and Riot are seen trying to get the better of one another, while Drake and Brock continue to wrestle for dominance. Yet it was painfully obvious that a cartoonish Hardy and Riz Ahmed had been digitally placed into that scene. If that terrible CGI I beat wasn't bad that's enough, quite when bad. time really slows it. down I as Venom, the flick quickly starts to enter B-movie visual territory, which isn't exactly what you want from a film which cost over 100 million dollars to make. No, Number that three, one's right. I don't think that, that one's so nuts that I think that that one they can get away with. Yes, yeah, a bit. Yes, yeah, a bit. Sure. Of a reach. So. Tales, Shark Attack. There was a time when the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise was home to some of the most convincing visual effects in modern Johnny. cinema. However, here we are off the back of the most recent outing for Johnny Depp's Captain Jack Sparrow in 2017's Dead Men Tell No Tales, and it looks as though the CGI wheels have completely fallen off this oh, once no. visually stunning world. Depp's de-aging oh. in the flick wasn't actually half bad, but that's about as good as it got for the fifth Pirates film's visuals. The worst culprit came 
during a scene where Jack and Brenton Thwaites' Henry Turner were being chased by ghost sharks. Yep, <laughs> oh they're a thing. Oh, my. <laughs> I was this one. like the sort of unpleasing <laughs> visual effect you'd find ghost in an immersive sharks. Movie ride. The moment where one of the sharks jumps out of the water oh, and attempts this to is the two Nader. main characters <laughs> felt about as believable as the thought of a decent fifth Pirates film did on paper. Number two, the Predator. Predator. Though yeah. many felt that the most soul-destroying part of Shane Black's The Predator was the film's decision to make the big evil a badly animated ultimate predator. I see your super CGI'd 11 foot tall monstrosity and raise you a pair of god awful predator dogs. <laughs> These two just looked positively terrible, and their appearance only got worse. As a KSI dog, bro. <laughs> the a KSI dog. Into predator chum. Clearly trying to cover Look up just him. how much oh. of a visual mess these alien canines had become. Most of the four action in involving them nice. took place at night. However, even that couldn't stop one of the dogs looking like a creature out of an early installment of the Doom franchise when it was swatted away by an oncoming vehicle. Things <laughs> went from bad to worse when one of the dogs decided to chase down Boyd Holbrook's Quinn McKenna, only to be turned into a deeply unsatisfying gloopy green disaster in midair thanks to a grenade being put right. on its throat what? by McKenna. Oh, that, Black okay, decided that was, to spend that was, that a little bad. bit more time making sure those CGI characters didn't resemble entities from an early 2000s video game. He could have at least produced a Predator film that bloody look the part. Number one, Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy Volume right. 2, yeah, Ego's Expansion. Oh. When the first Guardians of the Galaxy film burst onto one? the scene in 2014, it was universally praised for its mix of perfectly crafted humor <laughs> and deeply flawed characters who you could fully relate to. Even the talking tree. Yet one aspect of that first film, which was a little overlooked, was just how stunning some of the visual effects were. So that's why it was so weird to see such a blatantly awful piece of CGI wedged into the finale of the 2017 sequel. As Ego's Where? seedlings began to terraform and his oh, expansion started to become yeah. a reality, MCU fans in cinemas all over the planet couldn't help but wonder why his terrifying plan looked an awful lot like a blue version of Flubber Eating Cities. <laughs> Thankfully, the epic battle between Peter Quill and his father, coupled with Yondu's heartbreaking sacrifice, helped cover up this oh, big Yondu. old blue mess. But for a moment okay, there, it definitely looked that like James look Gunn had yeah. completely crapped the CGI bed in the final moments of Volume 2. And that's our list. Know of any other terrible you know CGI what? moments that you I cannot... There's worse movies that there's worse than definitely. all of There's worse ones out there. There's, there's worse ones that could have taken number one, I think. I think. I think this is more like to do with the fact of the budget of the film. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what it is.